Right, hello, hi, well, welcome to uh, Joe Baines' podcast. We call, we're calling it Passions. And I've got Steve Best because he is the best. And uh, my uncle, Mark Cox, on my right here. Uh, so, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Mark Silcox. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've got red socks. Look, I've got some red socks on. I am um, Steve Best. I've been a comedian for a long, 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 long time, but also photographer uh, for a little bit less longer. But that's it, really. Yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Mark Silcox. I think I'm a comedian, but lots of people disagree. And uh, I have uh, flip flop, which are 10 years old. Look at that. Look at that. That should be the, what the podcast is about. That's it. No, yeah. It's just Footwear. slash shoes. Footwear, yeah. You guys, the, these are the best trainers on the planet. Really? Literally, yeah. Uh, they, if you've put a hole in them, haven't you? Yeah, I know. That's because I refuse to throw it away. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, they're the best. Nice. Um, they're designed for extreme weather. Well, anyway, right. So tell me So tell me about your passions. What, uh, what would... Have you got shows here first? Yeah, so which is part of my passion, I suppose. I've got a, a, a photography exhibition at the Pleasant Dome, um, which is in the Pleasant Dome. And it's photography of my shots. Uh, it's my kind of passion of uh, com- shooting comedians, actually, with a camera. Not a, and um, uh, I've been doing it for quite a long time, actually. I've got a couple of books out with just the headshots and then the joke and four or five facts. And this next exhibition, which is what I really want to do, the passion, is uh, backstage to front stage, comedians back to front. So you, sh- you see shots of comedians backstage, and then you see them front stage as well, and that's the exhibition. And, and Mark here has a show as well? I have a show, it's called I Can Cure a Cough. La- I did this show last year, but I got very bad reviews. <laughs> so I'm repeating it this year, ho- hoping people will get it. Is it verbatim, is it? No. Sorry? Is it verbatim, the same? Exactly. Yeah, exactly the same show. And it has two sections. The first section of the show is uh, uh, I give lots of advice uh, about uh, curing and managing your cough without spending too much money. And the title of the show does not apply to the second part of the show. The second part of the show is uh, in which I explain the uh, origin of homosexuality. <laughs> is that right? I've got to yeah, see that. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm and, saying and how to cure that? Or no, it's not cure. This, this two sections, yeah. two separate sections. With a cup of tea. Uh, with yeah. a cup oh, of tea. and yeah. it, there's also egg, right? A boiled egg. Yeah, it's a source of protein I introduce. A cheap source of protein. And, and what brought you into what brought you into stand-up comedy? Why are you a stand-up uh, comedian? I was a Channel Four documentary, and they were showing a showcase of a comedy course, and they said. You don't have to be born funny, you can learn techniques in the classroom. So I did this City Lit course after that and I started doing comedy. Is that Chris Head, City Lit? No, City Lit, it was... Uh, Not Hitchmo. Rob Hitchmo, yeah. Oh, he used to run the uh, Aztec Comedy Club, mm-hmm. I know Rob very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a nice bloke. I teach at Middlesex University now. Oh, there's, mm-hmm. a comedy, there's a mm-hmm. comedy course on the drama. Mm, oh, so you, you teach stand-up comedy? It kind of, yeah. There's a, there's they, they, the drama students have a there's a stand-up module, and uh, I've taken over from Hugh Thomas, who was the originator of the King's Head downstairs, at the King's oh, Head. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, he kind of retired, and I've kind of taken over to help out on some of the stuff. And what made you go into stand-up? I haven't done anything else really. I um I was mucking around at school, and then I got into magic. It was a young magician of the year finalist in nineteen but, da, 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 something like that. So skills, I got really skills. into magic, and then. I started doing kind of touring, kind of children's theatre, and then I got into stand up. Yeah. I've done nothing else, mate. Nothing else? Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Have you even tried anything else? I'd nothing. Fail. I've never had a job, never had an interview. I don't think I've got a suit. Never had a suit. It's good. Isn't it? Some people. I am, I'm completely opposite. I have a very well paid job, and I still have a well paid job. Not well paid in terms of money, but well paid in terms of what I do at work, which is nothing. Uh, I'm a supply <laughs> teacher and uh, I just get paid to be at work. And what kind of students do you teach? And what do you uh, teach them? Secondary school student. And what do you teach them? All my work is done by other teachers. I just go there and give their work to their, their people and 
But isn't it, is it supply, supply teams, they have a bit of a tough time sometimes, or is it all right? Tough time if you want to take it tough, it's like any other bread gig, you know? Yeah. If you want to make it personally, then it's bad. If you just to accept it, these are the things, yeah. you know, and deal with it, then yeah. there's no... So I remember when supply teachers used to come into the school, that was the time that you would... Uh, yeah, we, nobody learned from supply teacher. That's the established yeah. fact. And all you have to do is just to learn to manage the situation. Yeah. Have a piece of pen on paper and try to figure out their real name. So you can, <laughs> you can report them at the end of the lesson. So you give them cups of tea and eggs. Yeah, that's how is, that, is, that, is, that, is that where you got your idea for your show? Because in school, you would just boil eggs and then give them tea. No, I, don't, I don't do boil egg and tea in school, but... This idea is like, you know, one hour show is a long show and I, any show I see and it's very stable as fact that after 40 minutes you get tired and because you're not moving your leg, you are frozen kind of, you know, so it's, it's very risky to have people sitting one year. It doesn't matter how many skills you have, end of the day, one hour is long time. So I want to break that hour into two sections and give them a cup of tea so they can move around. What, what, what do you have in the morning for breakfast? Do you have a boiled egg for breakfast or... And is, is I, tea I always involved? Uh, I don't normally have breakfast. I just drink a cup of tea sometime and before the show I just eat one pie from a scotch pie. You know, the pie shop. Oh, the pie shop. Oh, I love the pie shop. How big is the pie? Which pie shop? Uh, there's a pie it's shop. On the South Bridge. Is it? South, yeah, it, it's amazing. I've had scotch pie, I've had the uh, um, haggis pie, steak pie, I think I've had all the pies. Vegetarian, oh, vegetarian, yeah. vegetarian, so I just do here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do they do yes. vegetarian pies? On left hand side when you go down the south bridge. Oh right, okay, I didn't see that. Towards Bedlam Theatre? Mm -hmm. No. Pie maker, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pie maker, yeah, that's where I go. Pie maker. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a pie pie chain, isn't it? Isn't no, it? No, no, it's just a shop, yeah. one shop. Yeah. Well, that? T1 pound twenty. Yeah, yes, that's right. And the pie is like less than two pounds. Really? So for less than a fiver, you you have it's a practice, it's a meal. It's a meal deal really, isn't it? Yeah. I just I don't label things, you know, whatever it is, one pound seventy, <laughs> one pound fifty for it. Uh, macaroni, cheese macaroni pie. Oh yes. Macaroni yeah. pie. Yeah. Cheese. I've not had pie. that one yet, but I will today. That's the only thing I have because I'm vegetarian. Oh, so that's the only one they have that is vegetarian, is it? There's a couple of other things, but they are a little bit expensive. So okay. just, uh, and, and, and what are your passions? This is the, the main part of the show. Passion, uh, I don't have any passion. I tried everything. <laughs> it's good to be awesome on the show, then, wasn't it? I tried everything a little bit. I get early success. What about cooking? You're good at yeah. cooking. Oh, yes. Cooking yeah. is not my passion. I just uh, have this... Uh, one sauce, tomato sauce, so you have chick, uh, you cut down one or two green chili and the onion, you fry them in oil and then you add tomatoes, so that's my basic sauce and any vegetable you find, you chop it and put it in there and that's, that's it. And what passions have you tried that, that didn't become your passion? I never had any passion, I just, uh, I'm a very superficial type, you know, person and I'm quite happy for when you have passion, then you, you you automatically seem that you have a right to own certain things and then you own them and then it take a lot of effort to own them and you know that one day they will all disappear. Everything disappears, right? Yes, so one day. Yes. what's the point? I don't see any point. It's, just pre it's depressing, isn't it? I'm not just trying to work that out, actually, whether, whether that's... Um... You collect anything. I mean, you will collect and you will build up and... Yeah, but what, what if your passion you is, I don't know, say, climbing mountains, right? There's nothing to collect there, apart from photos and videos. No, you do collect. You collect lots of experience and then you boast about all your life. Oh, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. And... But do so you think you can have a passion that, that's not... Um, the necessary that you have to boast about it. I mean, but yeah. I, I, I take your point mm -hmm. that 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 usually your passion is it a, gives is you a something skill, to talk you about. Skill. It gives you something to talk about. Yeah, like like. And then you might have this tendency to live longer even before they die. They want to live in people's heart, and so that's why they do all these things. But don't you think there's an innate 
feeling that you get a passion, that, 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 that some, something along the line, or maybe it's all social conditioning, that that's the way you go in your path and that's why you get passionate about something. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm but, not believing people who have passion. But, but you're just not talking about... No, no, I'm just, I'm not, no, no, I'm just seeing uh-huh. where, it, where it comes from. Is normally the first child or second child, uh, they have passion. I'm the middle child of yeah. nine sibling. Middle child so sibling. So I just yeah. don't think that but I was needed, but I'm here. <laughs> But, but you must have had a passion even when you were young. You must have been something passionate about something at some point. Like even being a supply teacher or boiling eggs. It's not a passion. It's just something you do, you know. It's like, what, what a skill does it take to make a cup of tea or boil or egg or fry good something? Cup of tea. Good, a good cup of tea. A good cup of tea, tea. Was yeah. Was that a good cup of tea? Yeah. I made a good cup of tea. It, that was brilliant. Yeah. That was the best cup of tea I've had. Yeah. I mean, even, if, even though it wasn't made by an Indian, uh, it's still it's still a good cup of tea. So, well, so, so well, what are your passions? Well, um, I, I see I'm the opposite. I, I do like skill. I mean, when I when I watch something that, that that I remember watching the Paul Daniels show years and years ago. I used to watch that because there was some fantastic acts he had on, and usually very skillful. Mm-hmm. And, and, and even musicians, I really enjoy the skill of something. So I, when I was growing up, I got, got into juggling first. So before school, I used to do an hour of juggling go to school, come back, do another two hours. So I got really into circus oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know why. I, and it wasn't to show off, I don't think. I was just, I got obsessed. I get got an obsessive nature. So I got really into juggling then and then into magic. Yeah. And so that anything, I, and then into the guitar. I started playing the guitar um, and playing about seven, eight hours a day. Wow, so, okay. So I, I, you know, I got really passionate. And I just get into something. I don't know if that's healthy or not really. Um, well, it's, you, it's served you well so far, right? Well, um, maybe, but then, then as soon as you try and monetize or try and make it into something else, then maybe that's not a good thing. But then that, sometimes that's what you do, so you yes. need to do that to, yeah, to survive. Yeah, to survive, yeah, food. So you, you mentioned juggling there. Uh, when I was in uni, I stayed in this house of about eight or nine people, and they were all jugglers. And they said, like, if I want to live with them, I have to learn juggling. So I learned juggling in university. And one of the things I do now is I teach juggling. Do you? Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was really into juggling. I mean, I was, yeah. I was getting to kind of five balls and the, the rings and clubs and all this stuff. People normally do juggling at a young age because they can't get any girls. Maybe that was it. I think that might be it. That's yeah, that's fun. probably what it was, yeah. yeah. To impress the girls, you know, yeah. we'll do anything, right? We'll learn anything to get the girls. Yeah, maybe that's um, it. I'm still doing that to try and get the girls. Women, right? Women. Women, Women yes. Women, yeah. Change. That's yes. changed. Change, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Passionate yeah. <laughs> about that. So, so I actually teach juggling in, in London. Really? Um, yeah. I, 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 people hire me. Uh, like, I think it was some company hired me to teach their staff to juggle. And then um, people hire me just to, yeah. There's somebody's going to hire me to teach juggling at some street event. I don't know what it is, but. Uh, basically, I just turn up and I teach them how to juggle. It's the base, the basics of yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not ten ball or yeah, anything yeah. like that, but but that's the thing that that slightly it it is it, it's, it's kind of with anything me. I, I found that with the juggling, I remember doing this and getting really into it. Oh, maybe I'll be be a juggler, and then and then you the, you switch on the television and there's like this ten year old yeah. kid doing nine balls. You think this is I'm I'm never going to get to this. Oh yeah, but the thing is to teach it for somebody to juggle all they need to be able to do is three balls and that's oh, yeah. it they're happy oh absolutely but yeah. what I'm saying is yeah. if you want to the passion and making it into something else like a job or something yeah. like, then you realise there's there's always people who have of course I, yeah, yeah. I keep these two things separate what is passion and what is needed to earn money yes. I have qualifications for that I have a PhD in chemistry I'm a qualified teacher and I can choose the work I do so that's my living, and this is my hobby. So I keep but both them separate. Wouldn't it be great if you if you had a passion that also made you money? No, but then again, if you have to rely on money on your passion, then that's true. There's something in there. Uh, that didn't become work, and then yep. you have to deal with nasty people around the way, and then to, to, to make it work. To make yeah. it yeah, work. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. So that's that I leave it to work. So when yeah. I come to comedy, that's my hobby. Yeah. And uh, but I comedy, want my full independence, whatever I do. Oh, so is comedy your passion? People, hmm? Is comedy your passion? No, it's my time filling. What else? What will I do if I don't do comedy? But you enjoy it. 
Yeah, I enjoyed it. So it's, so it's passion. You're it's kind of passionate, passionate about it. You would do it even if, if you didn't get paid for it. I don't get paid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah but so, so therefore, that must be your passion. Because you're doing it because whether you get paid or not, See, it doesn't matter. If I, if I don't do, I will be at home sleeping. Or, or talking or to your watching, wife. watching TV. Or arguing with your wife, right? No, I don't argue with you. Oh, you don't argue with your wife. Hello. Hello. You look like you're waiting at the barbers. We are waiting at the barbers. <laughs> yeah. I've just had mine. You look like you've come back to complain. Oh, back. <laughs> yeah. So I wish I was there. Funny is Steve. Yeah, yeah, Steve is very funny. Yeah. yeah incredible. He's got no trousers on. It's all right. Hey, what? Put your head in. Oh, we see. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. That's it. We're just we're Sorry. just doing everybody. Oh, we're just doing this. No, no, you have. Doing a podcast. Though. Yeah. Video it's uh, 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 the video I'm going to put on Grinder. Uh, and then the, the podcast. There we go, oh, I didn't yeah. see that. Oh, it's selfie good. stick. Yeah. That's not a selfie stick, that's, that's disrespectful. That's tripod, tripod is stand. Camera tripod. Mini, and and a selfie stand. stick. It's also Camera. a selfie stick. Yeah. Mini stand, yeah. It's everything. So so what makes you guys laugh? Is my question. Well, Steve, Dave walking into a room. Uh, with his, uh, without trousers on. Oh, he hasn't got, he hasn't got any. <coughs> um, well, mate, I, well um, what makes me laugh? Lots of things make me laugh. Mark just made me laugh just then. Yeah, well, Mark makes everybody but laugh because he, he's a professional comedian. He is. Well, he's not. <laughs> no, it's not even his passion. <laughs> but I think there's. You know, I mean, it's part of comedy or humour is subjective, isn't it? I think as we're at the Edinburgh Festival, and lots of things make me laugh. But yeah. But what what in life makes you laugh? Like laugh normal makes you laugh. day to day life. It's harder as you get older. Not much makes you laugh, does it? Does it? I don't know. I I find for me personally, uh, the older I get. The, the, the richer my life becomes, you know, in terms of experiences, in terms of things I can do. Like when I was in my 20s, uh, all I did was work. Right. I just did, I, I just worked 10, 12 hours a day. Did you enjoy that? Week. I don't know. That's a good question. I, I, it was quick, limit. Those 20s to 30s. Yeah. It's horrible. Because all I did was, my goal was just to make money. I didn't care about enjoying life. I didn't care about sleep. I didn't care about resting, holidays. All I wanted to do is just make loads of money. And that's all I focused on. So I don't know if I enjoyed it or not, but I remember I slept very little. And I just worked constantly. What you were doing? I was uh, in IT. And uh, my goal was uh, to work in the city. No, on, what kind of IT? What do you do? Uh, IT program or uh, network? I was a, so I was an infrastructure engineer. Uh, Networks, security, firewalls, everything that builds the internet. Which year was it? Which year? I did it for the last 20 years. So, so when did you stop doing that? Uh, I went traveling around the world and it sort of woke me up. I did a around the world which, two years. Which operating system did you use? So I used all of them. I was uh, Linux, uh, Solaris, um, IBM A AIX, all of them. Uh, databases, Oracle, Sybase, all of them, everything. So I was basically an expert in all of those. Uh, but then I went traveling around the world. Two years. Well, you came uh, out of the came out of work to say I'm going to go traveling. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah. And it was like, oh my god, there's a whole world out there. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I years ago, I, I traveled most, a lot, lot of places with it, with with doing comedy. So I come to South Africa a couple of times, Thailand, you know. Malaysia and all that stuff. So I was lucky because uh, I was in that era where there were a lot of, a lot of gigs to do abroad, oh, yeah. which is yeah. great. Um, so, you know, and then you tag on a holiday at the end of it as well. So of that's course, good. Yes. But you haven't done the proper. So you were properly driven to do, you know, comedy. Comedy or doing entertainment. Videos. Well, yeah, I think I'd say I haven't done anything else. So from the magic, I, I just got into performing. I used to, we didn't have a television when we were growing up. We used to listen to the goons and the records and. And, uh, uh, and and kind of a funny family in that sense. Yeah. So I never had any drive to do no. anything. But I think I that drop the drive. Really, I, but I, I think the drive. I've lost the, the not an ambition, but I just really enjoy what I'm doing now. And it, it, but it's harder to monetize it, I suppose, in this day and age. Yes, I so when I was growing up, I wasn't very good in study, and then. When I did my secondary school final, I passed it without any problem, yeah. without actually working hard. So I realized that I can study, and then I did my BSc, then MSc, and got a job as a lecturer, start teaching, and uh, then I came here, 
can learn and start working in schools and learn IT, work as an IT manager without doing any course. I learn all IT networking, mobile networking, Windows networking. And yeah, just uh, yes. No, I just uh, observe. Yeah, I can I can understand whatever is written in books and yeah. apply wherever it's needed, but. But not a, not a drive as such. Not a drive. No. Just, just because it was there yeah. and you could do it. But did you do like 10 hours a day or 12 hours a day? Did you? Yeah. Was oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work. Yeah, when so I was, when I'm working there. in the IT, I did yeah. the PhD part time from Imperial College. But what made you do that though? Because, hmm? you, you know, that's, that's a big undertaking. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to be called doctor. Oh, so right. I did PhD in feel, analytical Do you feel better now? So yeah. Are you called a doctor now? Yeah, I'm a doctor. Okay, and, and it's an achievement. So, it's a, what's yeah. it? Not point something percent who become a yeah, PhD. Only, yeah, it's very few people can afford to do it because it costs ten thousand pound and four yeah. and a half year of your life. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so when I you're on a flight, they go, "Oh, is there a doctor in the house?" Yeah, oh, I'm a doctor. Just not of. Uh, no, I just tell them I don't have. I'm not a medical doctor. Yeah, I just have a doctor title. I'll have a look at it for you. Do you say? I'll have a look at it for you. I've, I can read a book. I can read a book on uh, on whatever he's got, and then I can fix it. Is that? <laughs> so what, what, what have Even you learned? The doctor that can't do anything. In yeah, the, that's the right. Flight, you know, yes. you just say, yeah, okay, clear the airway and put them in the safety position. But you know that much, right? Hmm? You know that Anyone much. Anyone so can, can learn yeah. that. So that's so first aid. First aid thing. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm done. That. Have you, you done first aid? I could take a photograph of them. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, a good one as well. A very good white, one. Yeah, make it really arty. Which so. which they could use for their funeral. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so what? Play guitar at the funeral. <laughs> We're going the wrong way there. But go on. What, what's next? I was just thinking. Uh, what uh, what have you? What's what profound things have you learned? What's profound that you've learned that you want to share with the world? What? Don't take anything seriously. Yeah, life, is a, life is a trap. A trap, I wouldn't yeah. say that. If you, if you get trapped, then it's very hard to come out. <coughs> so don't uh, don't get trapped into anything. But it, it, the, all of the these trap titles, is amazing. Yeah. All the, these titles make you a part of big hierarchy. And that's where you lose your freedom because then you have to carry this reputation around you. Oh, this is this, this is this. That's your ego, right? That's not that. ego, but whatever it is, you know, that's what traps you. So stay away from all these, just have a simple life. But I, I, that's so a very, I in think, my sim show, simplicity, yeah. In my show, I talk about five elements of life, like five pieces of jigsaw. You have parental, economical, social and uh, planning for future and cultural. So if you all these five pieces are in good combination, then you will lead a happy life. If you start ignoring some of these pieces, then you will, you know, your balance is disturbed and then you will be miserable and then lots of uh, bad thing happens. <laughs> it's as simple as as simple as that, you know. But I, I, do, I think there is something in like, well, I do. I think simplicity and, and, and just enjoying the ride, but and people do get caught up in... Yeah, in, it's in, all in. these uh, prestige and title and social expectations, oh, you should be doing this and I can't do this, and if you can look after your resources, whatever you have, and enjoy by not doing many things, then... Yeah, but, but, then you, but isn't, you, life, isn't life about trying many things? You try and then you become good, but then again, when you start converting them into money, then you expect people. And whenever expectations start, that's where you have to lie, you have to cheat, you have to manipulate things. When, it's, when, gain, it, when it comes to trying to monetize. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When but, it but comes, if, so what if someone had was hugely wealthy, one of these kind of mm -hmm. people out there who... Just a very huge amount. They're just enjoying everything. Trying, to, but, but are they happy because they've got their? I don't security think they are happy. Them? I don't think they are. They are trapped in in whatever they have because uh, all the time they are trying things and they are and because they have money, other people are using them to say how good they are in doing. And uh, 
Yeah. But if you could, so if you but if you could be truly spiritual, if you, you knew you had that, I mean, I'm just thinking about my family. Mm-hmm. I've got to provide all I, you know, I want to. My wife works, and mm-hmm. she's actually a doctor as well, PhD. So, so, she, she, uh, but there's also this. You've got you know, with you, if you're living in Western society, you do have to provide a certain amount. So, yeah. So, but I'd love to. If I had enough money, I would hopefully feel that I'd still be doing what I'm doing now. But I do feel a bit of stress and pressure to to, to earn some money from it. There's but if I, if, I did, if, I, if I didn't, I'd still would hopefully be doing what I'm doing. But then would I be in the same position, situation? But your the, no. Your but the more you will do the for them, more you will worry about children. Then you can't predict their future because they are their own personality. You can't control the whole environment they will meet and grow up. No, I'm not. But of course, so, but but. But I still got to try and provide security financially mm-hmm. uh, as we go along now. So, no, I know, but if my but job is mm-hmm. trying to take photographs and doing stand up, and, mm-hmm. and, and and I and you're trying to earn that kind of money for them, then then sometimes. But money, if you if you show them what is a good life is, is by like you know living a simple life and. They will learn from you, not because you are telling them, because they are watching you that you are working hard and trying to provide. That's a very good example for them. Yeah, they'll imitate you rather yeah. than they'll do what you if do. You, if you lie and cheat and show up, oh, I have this, I have done this, every time you go home and you tell, oh, I took this wonderful photo, then they will think that, oh, you are just a show up. And will uh, change my mind. <laughs> okay. Kids think you are a show up, right? <laughs> Yes. That means you are ignoring them. You're just talking about themselves, yeah. yourself. So That's you right. just have to hear. I haven't got kids really. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just adopted, right? So or imaginary, my, imaginary, yeah. right? Yes. So, so I, I wanted my children to be doctor, but none of them could make the doctor. So, so yeah, a, 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 just a PhD or doctor. Doctor. My daughter tried, but she couldn't get through to medicine. This she is got very, all the A stars and grade. This is a very she got, Indian she got thing. All the yeah. yeah, yeah, she got great, but she couldn't do the... This, is, this is a very Indian thing. Uh, I want my... I would choose my kids' hobbies, my their uh, profession. She never had any B grade in any of the GCSE or A level subjects. But then why couldn't she go on further? She didn't want she to. She did masters and in sport nutrition and other stuff, but she couldn't get into medicine. Oh, Even okay. with the grades. Even with the grade. Oh. And so, what did she okay, do now? Interview. She did masters in sport nutrition from Labra. Okay. Labra. So, so what kind of job does she have now? She is a tennis, juggler. Tennis coordinator. Tennis okay. what? Tennis. Lawn tennis coordinator. Yeah. A lawn tennis coordinator yeah. from nutrition to lawn tennis. Yeah, it's all his sports. Okay, all right. Fair does she does she enjoy? Yeah, 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 very much. Yeah. So, so is that more important than becoming a doctor? Doctor is certain, you know. Doctor but is. But you're telling you can't me, make doctor. Well, of course, but I that, mean, that, she made the decision, and uh, what can I do, you know? So, so. But it, that's the, but that we were talking about being a simple yeah. life and, and not putting expectations and onto. Well, I don't know if we talked about that, but the fact is, is that she, if she's happy. That's yeah, all that matters, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. she's earning the money to, to put food on the table, she's uh, growing. Oh, she's person. intelligent, I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's taking the, the piss, that's what he's doing. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Can't tell him I won, yeah, I know. I was, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, but hang on a minute, this doesn't add up. Right? <laughs> Is he winding us up? Yeah. No, I wanted her to be a doctor. She failed me. <laughs> yes. Uh, would it be nice to have one doctor in the family? Yes, you know? in case you fall ill, right? In case you fall ill. Well, it just it sounds better, you know. Oh, does it? <laughs> oh, he's, he's leading us up. I know, I know. I know, I, know, I, know yeah. down, I got you. Go and see his show. That's what he's trying to say. I, I t- what I'm but saying, not, don't give him any money, though. Yeah, he doesn't want any money. Yes, because he doesn't want to earn any money. Money is bad, right? No, I, I was thinking, right, if he had like three or four kids, one was a plumber, one was a mechanic, one was a doctor, right? One was a lawyer. That'd be perfect, right? Everything <coughs> now, everything you need gets done. It's no, true, but but it, it, you don't have to have them in the family. You can have good friend who can provide all these services. Of course, yeah, yeah. But so imagine, imagine you have four kids, and each of them had one of these professions. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Right? You any lawyer stuff, any law stuff? 
you've got a son or daughter that's a lawyer, you've got a car that's broken down, you've got a son or daughter. But that's why the society is for, if you correlate in the society and choose your friends, uh, I mean, you know, then... You so you go out looking for a friend who's a, a mechanic, right? Or yeah, it helps. It helps if you have a mechanic friend. You can save a lot of money. That's yeah, true. this you is what I'm saying. Mechanic. Yeah, I found a good mechanic. Man, mm. back at Kings Cross, man, mm. Italian guy, fantastic. You, First time in my life. You make some relations with them. You know, yeah. take them out for a meal or buy them a drink. That so, no, I just know. buy I them a book. book. I get one of my books. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any yeah. Kind or, or, or a bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah. the wine. Yeah. You know, when it's Christmas. Yeah, uh, and then you know they oil. remember you some oil. Yes, vegetables. Vegetable oil. Yeah. Um, all right, and what? Um, so, I don't want to say that. so, so, what do you guys love? What? What? Yeah. What in life do you love? Is my I love my family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I do actually. Um, um, of course. Um, um, it's, it's about time, isn't it? It's nice having some bit of time with the family. Oh yes. Just, yeah. just some chill out time when you think about what what. What's, what's important. I do love what I'm doing. It's quite, quite oh, good. Your life is no doubt about it. Yeah. Anything more than this would be nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Yeah. So how would you take fame then? You if you, if you, you, suddenly, you suddenly got, you know, because you, you've got some things in the pipeline. And what if you become famous? What happens then? You just Nothing happens, you know. I will just start saying no. I will do whatever I can, but I don't to push myself to do anything which I can't handle. So you can't handle or don't want to do. Yeah, can't handle. So, so if you become famous and now you're you have to work twelve hours a day, uh, go running no, to this I show, running working, to that show. I won't be working twelve hours a day uh, <coughs> to run around. I can not for the whole year. I can work maybe for a couple of weeks and then. I will have time off and uh, I only work like two, three days a week as a supply teacher. There's sufficient money for me to live on. And, uh, yeah. But what, what if you became famous enough that you don't now be, be a supply teacher, but you know like these uh, famous actors, they run around from talk show to talk show promoting their show and they're literally... No, but they have to do it because they are young and they have this drive. I don't have any drive. So if they say you did a movie and the movie became famous and, and now you're being asked to be on a talk show, one in Edinburgh, another one in uh, Paris, would you, would you then spend your life flying, taking trains, whatever, from one place to another? Or, I don't uh, think I will go to France. I don't think I will understand my accent there. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, right? It could be America. But now you're being flown around all over the place to give a talk show over here, to be on this talk, talk show. Talk show about what? <laughs> about. But, but, but that becomes, I mean, it, it also, you'd have people, you would have thought, helping you doing all that, and, and you'll just be doing the, doing the chat. But I know what you're saying. Yeah, and because it's still his work, yeah? Yeah. Because you're now having to fly to, uh, I know somebody's booking all your tickets. And not doing the fun stuff. You're just doing it to promote. Yes, people, yeah. exactly. Right? So you, you, you do a 10-hour flight, uh, say, to New York to be in a, a few talk shows to promote uh, your show here and there, to have to go to that party, that party. <clears throat> so that but that's, um, yeah, so that's what you're saying. You're, you're, like, you don't want that already, do you? I did not say I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's changing now. He's I don't changing, think it's yeah. going to happen. No, but it's say it did happen. Would you? No, but what's the point of you know worrying about and thinking about it? No, no, I'm not saying it happen. Then I will see how I feel. Yeah, okay. right. and but if I don't, I don't. No, no, I just I, 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 I see like the lives of some. Uh, if I start, if I start imagining and thinking, <laughs> then I will work a little bit harder. Yeah. And then I will see that it's not happening. Then I will be depressed. And I've changed my yeah. world view, so I don't want to build up those expectations. I just want to live in the moment and have fun. Yeah, of course. Who Good doesn't? point. Live in yeah. the moment. That's, live in the moment, yes. Yeah. Yes, and that puts things in slightly into perspective, doesn't it, really? Of, of what's the goal. Whenever things come, you deal with them. Yeah. And that's it. I'm not actually earning 
extra skills or is spending a lot of time to plan something bigger and better. So, because when you make a lot of effort, then you expect the result and when you build up expectations, sometimes you don't meet your expectation, then you, then you go into this mode that, oh, the world is full of assholes and then <laughs> they're trying X-rated, to block X-rated, you. Yeah. X-rated, right? X-rated. They're, they're well, I'll remove that word. But it's true, but then if, you, but this is what, if you're going back to, to Joe, what you're talking about, passion, if you're mm-hmm. passionate about something, but then you just do it because you love doing it. Yeah, but I'm 55, I don't want to have any passion, you know. I have no, but if you enjoy doing something, yeah. then then you don't have to, you know, the word passion is a word passion, but if, if you're enjoying doing something, that's a passion. I mean, if yeah. you, what you, so it doesn't mean, that, I mean, there must be different levels of passion as well, of, 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 of course, yeah, saying yeah. that I'm just really enjoying this. Mm-hmm. So, so, so do you not have a goal where you want to be in five, ten years' time? No. What would you like to be I doing? Never, I never had any goal. Okay. Things just came to me. When I did my master's, I got a lectures, a position without even interview. Just submit your marks uh, result and you get the position because in India at that time they were selecting lectures just based on the marks, marks. you get from university. Yeah. So I was uh, top in the university in my subject area. So I got my lectureship. Then I did... Uh, yeah, then I came here and I started working in schools and I learned computing networking. So I was working as a network manager in American University and uh, I did PhD part-time because I wanted to have a doctor title. So that was like a passion for you to have that doctor title? No, it's just something I like being called doctor because <laughs> I couldn't get into medicine. <laughs> did you try get? Did you want to get into medicine? Then? Yeah, everybody tries in India. Really? <laughs> <laughs> because doctors. because it takes such a long time to become a doctor, it's seen that because of the education behind it, it's seen as the pinnacle. Yeah, but then uh, doing any uh, PhD is, is another, you know, it's, it's a long time. It's, it's no, the same PhD, PhD, I did part time in four and a half years. That's where you could go. It normally yeah. takes three anyway, doesn't it? Three, three, four, four. years full time, and then. I was lucky because this research group was starting in Imperial College. The professor from Switzerland came and he started this research group. And in that research group, he just hired me without checking too many colleagues. Yeah. Too it's quite, quite yeah. Yeah. And I have IT skills, so I supported my friends, colleagues in IT, and they helped me to actually write my thesis. Yeah. So, so you did checked, so you fixed their computer. They checked all my spelling <laughs> and really? grammar okay. and I I'm good at making things so I can I I made the I made the instrument to do my experiment and uh, when I was writing they helped me to write so so you so you fixed their computers and then they did your thesis, right? Helped you with your thesis. No, I built my experiment yeah instrument and they helped me to uh, write good grammar in english oh i see okay okay yeah 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 i i did something similar when i was uni uh, i wasn't very good at writing uh, so i would write all the programs for the other students and they would write my uh i'll delete that bit uh, yeah. but they would literally write my uh you know twenty thousand uh, mm. word reports essays and stuff like that um, and uh, different people would write it, uh, and so I never actually in uni, I never actually wrote those you know twenty thousand word uh, essays. But I wrote loads of programs, so literally every every student would be like, I'd write the same program to do the same thing, but in a different way. One would be using functions, another one could be using procedures, another one could be you know, so that it, it they weren't the same. Mm because there's a lot of plagiarism it's in, uh, in university. Go soonish. Is it time? Okay. Oh, only because I've got to photograph the Mervyn Stutter, Pick of the Fringe. Oh, yeah. I do yeah, that every same. day. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. So, which is great, because then you end up seeing um, lots of different acts. Who mm-hmm. so like, are these? Is it Laughing Horse? No, no, it's um, it's from the Pleasants. Oh, from the Pleasants. And, and uh, he does it every, this is his 30-something year. Wow. So he's gone up, come up every year, and he does his Pick of the Fringe, where he... They have researchers going out to lots of different shows, picking out to, two They're comedians. They're all from Pleasants. No, no. They could be anywhere on the fringe. And so two comedians, two theatre pieces, and usually two music 
Oh, right. And, and how much does it cost to get into it? Or? I think there's, it's 12 quid. It's an hour and a half show. Yeah. And it, it, people go every day they're here because then they see a snippet of lots of different people and then they choose, then you give out flyers at the end. And how much, how long each comedian do? Six minutes or something. Like really? Yeah. Oh, right. I thought it would be like 10 minutes. No, well, six, seven minutes and then they have, you know, band on or a theatre. Uh, so it's just a snippet of, of their show. Oh, really? and, at, and at the end, people can take the flyer and then go and see the full show. Oh, so it's okay. a way of Just seeing. like fast cream. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. But with, with, but with um, theatre and music as well, it's not mm, just stand up. It's, so it's, great. it's a great, great show. And I've seen, you know, so you end up seeing a lot of stuff. Yeah. You, know, you get to see the best of everything. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. They take, they, the researchers go out far and wide. Okay. Um, I don't know if they've been to you yet, Mark. I have no idea. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know it existed, but... Uh, yeah, it's been going for eight, ages, yeah. But it's in a 300-seater, so you know, it's got a big audience. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, does it sell out completely? Or? Most of the time. I mean, t- today, what yesterday, time today, today the, yeah, start, it starts at quarter to one, I finishes think. at half, quarter past two. Is that one? Yeah, 12.45. 12.45, every day. Yeah, yeah, except the Thursday. I think. So if I ever get to that, that means I would be before one o'clock or before. Oh, that's months. true. But some people like to do that. Then they have a show. They yeah. they go on and they dash off or they come off. You know. So. <laughs> so it's a good one to see then. It is actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I recommend seeing it because you do see a bit of a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Photograph that. There you go. And then you. The, the then it takes me another hour after that to to. Um, Process them. process them and then but I did a show, and from that actually I've got some few little jobs doing shows I'm doing Adam Rowe's show tonight okay I'm that I did Red Shoes yesterday Bojangles took their photos so yeah it's all actually alright so it, it keeps you very busy yes, running yeah. around yeah pretty much yeah, Not much, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. there you go you, you're busy though aren't you you're busy uh, yeah I've got my two shows two shows uh, so it's, which is pretty good uh, there's a lot of work I didn't realise but I'm also, I do uh, two hours at the gym as well. Two hours at the gym? Yeah, because I'm trying to build my body up. Uh, so I do, yeah. Is that your but passion? Then? It's not my passion. I used to be disabled. Uh, I basically broke my whole body. Did you? Uh, yeah, so I was disabled for a long time. And uh, I learned one really important thing about disabled. You don't want to be disabled. Yeah, well, a lot of my friends are disabilities. Oh, I, I ran this uh, company abnormally funny people for ten years with disabled comedians. All oh, right. So my mate's coming up actually in the next day. So yeah. Oh no, it's, I, I didn't like being disabled. I was like, this time not. So what disability you have? Uh, I had uh, well, I damaged my back and my uh, my hips, and so I, I couldn't move. Uh, so I had twenty four seven care. Did you? Yeah. So somebody Break, had to breaker. I broke everything. Uh, basically, so I, I needed somebody to put me into bed. I needed somebody to take me out of bed. I needed somebody to like, bathe me. I needed somebody to change my clothes, like everything. So I, they put me in four different hospitals, but they couldn't fix me. Uh, so then they discharged me eventually. And so my brother would look after me during the day. My sister at night, my nephew would come once a week and change my clothes and bathe me. Uh, and Is that from an like, accident? Yeah, yeah, a lot of accidents. So I used to have a motorcycle, and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, no, I am not living like this. So I had to learn about health. So I learned about what makes the body healthy, what makes it work. Uh, I joined the gym. Uh, it was a pain in the ass at the beginning because I couldn't do much at the gym. Uh, but slowly, it built up. So now I just keep doing it. Uh, but yeah, it's not 100%. I'm about, I'd say, about 90% healed. So, is that, is that, is that there's rather than a passion, it's an obsessive? It, it, it's, it's, it's a passion because I do not want to go back there again. Mm. I don't want to be, uh, so, I mean, my back isn't 100%. Uh, that's your treatment rather than passion. Yeah, 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 yeah that's you right. It, yes. Then you will. Yes. End up there. Yeah, that's right. That's why life is so unpredictable, you know. Mm. Mm. But you have to have certain plans. You work on the plan, but don't commit too much. Yes. Well, I, I, I learned that I did not want to be um, reliant on anybody. So yeah. Uh, so I prefer, I prefer to do things on my own steam. But then some things you you can't. 
they, there are some f maybe false hopes with some things that you, you that you can't put all your eggs in one basket. Mark, Mark does put all your eggs. But the, of thinking, well, if I do that, then I will be cured as such because some people haven't got that option. So yes, disability comes in all forms. Of it? course, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yes. yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was uh, quite lucky in that there was a possibility. Yeah. Um, yeah. It just took a lot of time and effort. Uh, but he, is he left the um, grill on? I think yeah, he, he has. Left. Yeah. I thought he was still using it. it doesn't look like it's good. No. I'm so jittery. Sorry about that. You can edit that. Maybe keep that in. That's yeah, maybe. It thing. could be. It could be really. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Mark is an expert. He's done it. Well done. He saved the okay, so bar. Gonna, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, this is brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, do, you, do you want to... Yes. Any last words? No, no last don't, words. Don't no. take life seriously. Yeah. Like, ditto. Ditto. Yeah. Yes. Don't play... Yeah. Because don't you're not going to get out alive. Don't basically. make big plan. Don't make big plan. Just work on a small plan and just ditch them if they don't work out. <laughs> just make loads of plans. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Well, that's the most and important. have a proper sleep every night. It's true. Yes, sleep. Yes, sleep, good sleep. Yeah. And, and eat an egg, right? Oh, eat, eat, eat a boiled egg, right? Whatever you choose, but yeah, don't eat too much. Yeah, that's that's the worst thing in the Western society. I learned eat we, eat, we eat too much. Yeah. Uh, so if you can cut down on the amount of food, you naturally become healthier. And don't get impressed when you see successful people because you haven't seen their end. That what end? Their end. I've seen their ends. Hmm. Haven't you? What? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, they are successful now, but you yeah. haven't seen their end. Yes, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> they might die alone in some um, corner somewhere, right? I'm not, not saying. I'm not saying that. No. What What do you mean by end? End. Yeah. The end. See what happened to Michael Jackson. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He was being pumped with lots of medicines. Yeah. So the doctor is supposed to doctor who's supposed to take care of him. Yeah, but what is is it really the doctor's fault if he's saying, "Give me the drugs"? I don't care the consequences. But I mean, he, I mean, he didn't have a start either, did he? Really, my yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's a nice happy note to end yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you very much. I will put this on uh, on your grinder account. Grind is good. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay, yeah. you have a grind account with on? No? Alright, I'll book credit with me. Mark, we're friends. <laughs> you swiped right on me, didn't you? I don't know what you <laughs> I'll go, guys. Alright, brilliant. Thank you very much. Perfect.